Okay, free trap. I know some of y'all don't do them, but you know, or you say you do, you don't. Okay, okay but we won't go there. Um, to start a pre trip, I always like to start the engine, make sure everything's aired up. Aired up. Because you can't do a pre trip unless everything's aired up. Um, I'm going to shut the engine off now. I've done the pre trip. I'm actually at a rest area and just thought this would be a good time to do a video on a pre trip. So, anyway, we want to start the engine, make sure everything's aired up. Shut it off. I'm not going to go through the air procedure, but we want to pump the air down. You want to hear your buzzer go off. You want to uh, pump it on down and then you knob pop out. If you have a CDL, you should already know all this. Um, looking at your mirrors. Make sure they're all, uh, they're not damaged or anything like that. Oh, I got the headlights on. I've been driving since early this morning. So anyway, make sure your coffee cup is full. Okay, that's not pretty good. But we're waiting on some of your trucks. They have what they call a bulb test. Uh, this one actually says pre-trip, and it's like a bulb test. Check your lights as we're checking your lights, and it you know you go outside. The four ways of flash. The backup light will come on. The beeper will come on. That's so you don't have to keep running back and forth up here, you know, hitting the turn signals and stuff like that. You need to get your pre-trip system down and do it the same way every time so you don't forget stuff. First thing I do on a pre-trip is do a walk around. I start at the front, I'm looking for any damage, I'm looking for any scratches, any marks. Uh, especially on a new one. Check your lug nuts, all your lug nuts, any rust. New one, you shouldn't have no rust. Used one, you shouldn't have no rust, but rust can indicate a loose lug nut. Check your wheel seals. Any 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 grease, any oil coming out of there, it'd be on your rims, it'd be a problem. Looking at the mirrors. Okay, I'm, I'm checking all my doors here. I'm like, when you pick these things up, make sure that the doors are closed. Sometimes they, they can be just, just like that, and then they come up open. You want to make sure they're closed. Check your tires. Again, seals, lug nuts, tread death. Of course, we're new here, so we got good tread death. Um, what comes with a truck? Uh-oh, we got something up here. Strap down. Let's go see what it is. Uh, mud flaps. Make sure your mud flaps are there in good order. I'm looking for any scratches, any make sure everything's right. Mud flaps are good. You want to make sure your jacks are not coming down. Some of these trucks, they'll leak off. And if they are, that's a problem. Check on your lug nuts, wheel seals. Okay, we have a, a piece of equipment here. We want to make sure it's strapped. Found some old gloves to uh, loosen the straps off, put them on, protect them from this edge. Checking doors. Checking doors, we're checking doors. Again, we're still looking for leaks under, under the, cause you know, your rear end could be leaked. Used truck, picked the truck up. I had loose nuts and big flat washers, probably for insulators. I mean, those nuts were that big. They just, and pieces of cable line, just, you know, workers got done with it, they just threw it. If any of those come off and hit a car, you're responsible. Um, I know someone says, how are they going to prove it for you? Huh? I don't know. The only utility truck flying down the road, and most people have dash cams now, or a lot of people do. Uh, there's hundred ways. But you as a truck driver are responsible for the equipment on this truck. Uh, make sure it's secured. You're responsible. Make sure it's secured. The auger, make sure, you know, if it's auger, a bucket truck, whatever, it's not, it's not f flopping around up there. I check this every, every stop. Make sure it's, I use cables on this one because my chains are just too, my shortest chains are 10 feet and that's a little too long. Again, we're, we're making sure all the equipment's secured. We don't want nothing falling off. Because, like I said, in the day, you're responsible for it. You can, you can 
bitch and moan it and blame the factory and all the, and the dealer and all that but at the end of the day you're responsible see that truck driver over there a lot better he's over securing uh, checking his load putting some extra looks like some of his plastic i don't know if y'all can see it since his plastic came off he's re-securing it again i'm still looking for lead everything looks good there's your wheel chocks if you have any equipment you want to make sure it's secured in here you don't want to fly around in there those are heavy they shouldn't go no place they haven't went no place i've done went 600 miles we're checking make sure the doors are closed we're checking make sure we don't have um how do we say we don't have uh, unintentional cargo and we don't have people in there so everything looks good oh, go around here see what we got our fluids our washer fluids getting low but that's okay well we're real close to delivery we want to check our belt tension shouldn't be more than three quarters to an inch that's pretty tight right there we want to check our antifreeze we got an antifreeze this is a new unit by the way we want to check the tires obviously new truck new tires we're good on this one never assume just because it is new there won't be no problems I've seen new ones leaking. I've seen basically every problem there is. So I'm sure I'm sure a lot of you do your pre-trips differently. You look for some things I don't. That's fine. But everybody needs a, a system down. Check the oil. I done checked it this morning. You're not doing it again. Check your brake fluid. Check your, your filter. I always look for leaks. Is it leaking? Anything leaking under there? Now these have disc brakes, so they're they're different from your drum brake. If you have drum brakes, you want to check the pads. Your rear sometimes will have drum brakes on a new one, but I'm going to disc brakes. But you want to check your linkage arm. Is it loose? If it's real loose, we, that's a problem. Grab it up here. That's what she said. <laughs> Do you play in it? 